Hey guys, over here today I'm doing the Eureka Math Squared Grade 2 Module 1 Topic C. And today I have a special guest with me. Hi. Um, I have my friend here with me. Um, she's really good at math too. We're gonna like, go do this topic together. So this topic, we're just gonna be practicing measuring length um, and comparing lengths and estimating lengths. Okay, so each lesson will have two parts. The first part is the explanation part where we do some sample problems and we go over them. And the actual lesson part where we like apply those to the um, problems. Okay, so number one, estimate the length of the cracker, then measure. Okay, so here they estimated that the length of this cracker would be four centimeters because, um, they just like guessed and it was for centimeters. But they also use a benchmark object. So they can use a benchmark object to use as something to estimate the length of an object. Cause for example, they know a pencil is about 10 centimeters. So they can estimate um, using their thumb. In the actual measurement part, they use a ruler to measure and it's five centimeters. So the estimate was not the, exactly the correct answer but it's pretty similar so that's why it's an estimate okay next page um all right number two pick one of the objects you measured show the difference in length between the estimate and the measurement all right the sample okay they have a four and a five Four plus one equals five, so the difference is one centimeter. So the estimate, E for estimate, and the M for measurement. So the difference is one centimeter. And number three, draw and write a number sentence to compare. Here we have 20, two tens, zero ones, and one ten, ten ones. So 20 is equal to 20. They're both the same value, but they're just written differently. So one, 10, 10 ones. Well, we know 10 ones is equal to one, 10. And we already have one 10 here. So then if we add another 10 to that, that'd be two tens, which is 20. So that'd be correct. Okay, this is the actual lesson 11. All right, cut out the 10 centimeter ruler. They have a 10 centimeter ruler here on the back, but I have my own ruler, so I'm gonna use that to measure. But you guys can go ahead and cut that out if you don't have a ruler. And number one, just estimate the length of each pencil, then measure. All right, first I have a blue pencil. Alex, how much do you think, how long do you think the blue pencil is? I think that it's nine centimeters. <laughs> All right, so an estimate doesn't need to be the exact correct answer, but you just look at it and Estimate, estimate how long you think it might be. So for ours, we think it's nine centimeters and you guys might get a different number or measurement, but that's okay, cause it's just an estimate. But the actual measurement, Alex, you wanna go ahead and measure? Sure. It's, um, it's 10 centimeters. All right, so the actual one is 10 centimeters. Um, so we see our estimate was not that far off. Okay, and next we have a red pencil. Okay, right, how long do you, how much do you think this, how long do you think this one is? I think that it's 13 centimeters. Okay, we can estimate that it's 13 centimeters long. And again, you guys might get a different answer, but that's okay, because it's just an estimate. But now for the actual measurement, okay, let's measure the thing. Oh my god! 13 centimeters! Okay, right, so the actual measurement of the pencil is 13 centimeters. So we see our estimate was um, the exact same answer. So sometimes you can get it right, sometimes you won't. All right, now we have number two. Pick one of the pencils you measured, show the difference in length between your estimate and the measurement. Okay, so we're gonna do the blue pencil. So our estimate was nine centimeters and the actual measurement was 10 centimeters. So the difference in length, E for 
the amount we estimated. And that was nine centimeters. And then M for the actual measurement, that was 10 centimeters. So this right here is the difference that we're looking for. So nine plus one equals 10. So that means one is our difference because the difference in length is one centimeter. Okay. And now number three, draw and write a sentence, number sentence to compare. Okay, so we have eight tens, ten ones, nine tens, zero ones. Well, first nine tens, zero ones, that's 90. But eight tens, ten ones. Let's see, we know 10 ones is equal to 110, and we already have 8 tens here. So we have 8 tens, and here is equal to 110. 8 tens plus 110 is 9 tens, which is 90. So 90 would be equal to 90. Okay. And that's it for lesson 11. Let's move on. This is lesson 12. Okay, right, explanation part. Number one, measure the object, fill in the blank. All right, so they measured the envelope. And I got 11 centimeters for the envelope. So the measurement is 11 centimeters. All right, number two, show the difference in length two ways. Write an equation for each way. All right. Oh, wait, oh, wait. No, the estimate is 10 centimeters long. So the difference in length, the estimation and the measurement, they estimated 10 centimeters and the actual one was 11 um, centimeters. So the difference is one centimeter since 10 is one away from 11. 10 plus one equals 11. Or they could do 10 and 10 and but then one more here for 11. So 11 minus 1 equals 10. So that's the difference. The difference in length is 1 centimeter. Okay. Now this is lesson 12. Number 1. Measure the object. Fill in the blank. Okay. So I estimate it is 5 centimeters long. Well, let's see how long it is. It is 7 centimeters long. Measurement, 7 centimeters. So number 2. Show the difference in length two ways. Write an equation for each way. One way we can do it, our estimate is five, and the measurement is seven. So we want to find the difference here, and that would be two, because five plus two equals seven. We can write that here, five, plus two equals seven. So two is our difference in length. And another way to show it, it's gonna be five. And this can also be five, but then the measurement is seven centimeters. So we have two more for that to happen. And the total here would be seven. So seven minus five, oh, I mean, I don't know, I'm sorry. Seven minus two is equal to five. So that means two is our difference. The difference in length is two centimeters. All right, next page. Oh, that's it. This is lesson 13, explanation part. Right, how tall is each friend? So we have Pam. She's one meter stick, three 10 centimeter rulers, five centimeter cubes. So one meter is 100 centimeters. So that's 100 and three tens, cause three 10 centimeter rulers. So that's 30 and then five centimeter cubes. So 135, 135 centimeters. And land is one meter stick, 17 centimeter cubes. So one meter stick is 100 centimeters, and then the 17 centimeter cubes is just 17 centimeter cubes. So 100 plus 17 is 117 centimeters. So that is the height for land. 
Alright, pretty simple. Okay, and then number two, Jade is 124 centimeters tall. How many of each do you need? Okay, you need one meter stick since one meter stick is 100 centimeters. Two 10 centimeter rulers since two tens is 20. And Jade is 124 centimeters tall. And then for the ones, you just need four individual centimeter cubes. All right, number three, write another way to measure Jade's height. So another way you can use zero meter sticks, but 12 10 centimeter rulers, because 12 times 10 is 120. And then the four centimeter cubes to add. Okay, and then um, number four, circle the word that matches the parts. Okay, halves and fourths. So the word that would match the part is half, I mean, not half, fourths, because this cracker is being split into four equal parts. If this cracker was split right down the middle, that would be half since it's being split in half, two equal parts. But in this case, it's being split into four equal parts. So it's being split into fourths. So that's how many equal parts there are. Alright. Now this is lesson 13. Number one, how tall is each friend? Alright, so we have Kevin. Kevin is one meter stick, two ten centimeter cube rulers, eight centimeter cubes. One meter is one hundred centimeters, so one meter stick would be one hundred centimeters, two ten centimeter rulers, that's twenty and eight centimeter cubes. So Kevin is 128 centimeters tall. All right, and Kate, Kate is nine 10 centimeter rulers, three centimeter cubes. So nine 10 centimeter rulers, that's 90 plus three. So 93 centimeters is Kate's height. And number two says Nick is 112 centimeters tall. How many of each do you need? When you one meter stick, because one meter is 100 centimeters, you need one 10 centimeter rulers, because it's 1 to 12, and two centimeter cubes. And number three, write another way to measure Nick's height. You can do it with zero meter sticks, and instead bring that here to have 11 10 centimeter rulers, because 11 times 10 is 110 and then plus the two centimeter cubes to make one to 12. Okay, and number four, circle the word that matches the parts. Halves and quarters. This cracker is being split right down the middle, so it's being split in half into two equal parts. So the word that matches the parts would be halves, since there's two equal halves. And quarters would be only if it's four equal parts, but here there's two equal parts. The two equal parts. Okay, now lesson 14, explanation part. Kevin and Jack are different heights. Okay, Kevin is 149 centimeters and Jack is 141 centimeters. Okay, so here they drew a tape diagram to represent the heights. K for Kevin, J for Jack, and they found the difference, which is eight. So eight is the difference um, in height. All right, now number one, show the difference in height two ways. Write an equation for each way. 149 and 141, they just added the extra eight, so 141 plus 8 equals 149. And now here, 141, 141, they also added an extra 8 um, to Kevin's height. And then they did 149 minus the 8 to get 141. So the main point is that, that the difference in height is 8 centimeters. Alright, so lesson 14 Beth and Kate have different heights. Number one, show the height in two ways. Run equation for each way. All right, so 
Beth is 132 centimeters. Kate is 136. I'm going to put Kate first because she's taller. 136. And then Beth is 132. Okay, 132. So the difference... Well, difference will be four because 132 is four away from 136. So if we add the difference, that will end us up with Kate's height. And another way to show the difference Kate is 100. Let's see right now. We're going to make them the same height. And then add that extra four. We know K is still 136. All right, so add the extra four. 132 plus four is 136. So if you subtract that, 136 minus the difference, you get 132, which is Beth's height. So the difference in height is four centimeters. All right, and that is it for today's topic. Um, all right, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching.